The story I am about to tell you is a chilling reminder that monsters can come in all shapes and sizes, even those who are sworn to protect and serve. It's a story of betrayal and depravity that left the community reeling in shock and disbelief. In April 2020, San Diego Crime Stoppers began to receive tips about an unidentified man who had committed sexual acts with a juvenile. These tips were the beginning of a shocking investigation that would uncover a string of horrific crimes committed by a former officer of the Sheriff's Jail and Court Services Unit. The man in question was Jalen Devin Fleer, a 27-year-old who had worked with the department for just over five years. Despite being taken off his post at the San Diego Central Jail and put on desk duty, Jalen was arrested after being charged with 20 felony and misdemeanor charges related to sex acts with underage girls. Jalen's crimes spanned from March 27 to April 8 in 2020, during which he attempted to meet up with minors for sexual reasons. He even told multiple girls, Do you have friends? I'll give you money. The younger, the better, showing his depraved and disgusting nature. What's even more appalling is that Jalen was reportedly on duty while he was messaging one of the young girls on Snapchat and sending her sexually explicit photos. He even sent her a picture of him in his sheriff's uniform, which is a clear abuse of power and a violation of trust. Jalen made arrangements with the girl to meet with him in person and have sex with him and another minor girl offering her $100 to do so. It's sickening to think that Jalen was a former officer of the law, someone who was supposed to protect and serve the community, but instead, he preyed upon the most vulnerable members of society. The victims in this case were children, and their lives will never be the same because of what Jalen did to them. Four victims were named in the criminal complaint, and they were all underage. The judge in the case, Michael Popkins, said, I have never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. Jalen pled guilty to all charges, and even though he proactively enrolled in treatment and completed 46 therapy sessions, it doesn't excuse his reprehensible behavior. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison, which seems like a paltry punishment for the magnitude of his crimes. Jalen has a wife and a one-year-old son, but he will now serve 12 years in a state prison with no probation option, and he will be registering as a sex offender for the rest of his life. It's a small consolation for the victims and their families, who will have to live with the trauma of Jalen's actions for the rest of their lives. It's hard to fathom how someone could do such heinous things to innocent children, but it's a stark reminder that we must remain vigilant and report any suspicious behavior, no matter who the perpetrator may be, to prevent these kinds of atrocities from happening in the future. Jalen's actions caused irreparable damage to the innocent lives he violated, and it's no wonder they were too afraid to call the police because he was part of the police force. They feared retaliation or that their reports wouldn't be taken seriously. This case is a reminder that we must hold those in positions of power and authority to a higher standard, and we must do everything in our power to protect the most vulnerable members of our society. The victims deserve justice, and their bravery in coming forward to report Jalen's crimes is to be commended. We must continue to support and believe victims of sexual abuse and assault, and we must work together as a community to prevent these kinds of horrific crimes from happening in the future. The case of Jalen Devin Fleer is a disturbing example of how those in positions of power can abuse their authority and prey upon vulnerable individuals. Jalen was a former officer of the law, someone who was supposed to protect and serve the community, but instead, he chose to commit heinous crimes against innocent children. The details of Jalen's crimes are shocking and deeply disturbing. He attempted to meet up with minors for sexual reasons, offering them money and making lewd comments about their age. He even used his position as a sheriff's officer to send sexually explicit photos and messages to young girls, including one while he was on duty. Jalen's actions caused immense harm to his victims, who were all underage. The trauma and emotional scars they will carry for the rest of their lives are unimaginable. It's no wonder they were too afraid to call the police, because Jalen was part of the police force. They feared retaliation or that their reports wouldn't be taken seriously. It's important to note that Jalen's crimes are not isolated incidents. Sexual abuse and assault against minors are unfortunately not uncommon, and they can have lifelong consequences for the victims.
It's crucial that we continue to support and believe victims of sexual abuse and assault and work to prevent these crimes from happening in the first place. The fact that Jalen was a former officer of the law makes his crimes all the more reprehensible. As someone who was entrusted with upholding the law and protecting the community, he violated the trust that was placed in him. It's a stark reminder that those in positions of power must be held to a higher standard and that they should face severe consequences when they abuse their authority. In a shocking development, former sheriff's deputy Jalen Fleer was handed a harsh sentence of 12 years in state prison by a San Diego County judge. This comes after Fleer, who was just 27 at the time, pleaded guilty to a staggering 20 charges, including both felonies and misdemeanors. These charges stem from Fleer's despicable acts of engaging in sexual acts with underage girls and attempting to arrange meetings with minors for sexual reasons. The alleged crimes took place over a short period from March 27 to April 8, 2020. During the court proceedings, the details of Fleer's actions were revealed, and they painted a disturbing picture. Prosecutors explained that Fleer targeted multiple girls and enticed them by offering money while expressing a preference for younger victims. It's horrifying to think that someone could be so depraved as to prey on vulnerable children in this way. The victims were too frightened to report the crimes to the police due to Fleer's position as a law enforcement officer, making the situation all the more harrowing. The criminal complaint identified four victims referred to as Jane Doe's 1 through 4, all of whom were underage. The charges were explicit, including unlawful oral copulation with Jane Doe number 1, an individual under the age of 16, around April 8th. Counts 7 and 8 alleged that Fleer committed lewd acts upon the bodies of children aged 14 or 15. The judge in the case, Michael Popkins, was outraged and expressed his dismay at the severity of the crimes and their impact on the young victims. He said, I have never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. It's hard to fathom how someone could be so heartless and cruel as to commit such heinous crimes against innocent children. The impact on the victims will likely be lifelong, and the trauma they have experienced is unimaginable. Fortunately, Fleer was held accountable for his actions and sentenced to 12 years in state prison. While this may seem like a severe punishment, it's important to remember that the victims will have to live with the emotional scars for the rest of their lives. It's a stark reminder that we must remain vigilant and report any suspicious behavior, no matter who the perpetrator may be, to prevent these kinds of atrocities from happening in the future. The case of Jalen Devin Fleer is a stark reminder of the need to remain vigilant and report any suspicious behavior, no matter who the perpetrator may be. It's also a reminder that those in positions of power and authority must be held to a higher standard, and that we must work together as a community to prevent sexual abuse and assault from happening in the first place. While we can never undo the harm that Jalen caused to his victims, we can work to ensure that justice is served and that his crimes are not repeated in the future. If you think this content was worth your time, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with your thoughts on the monster Jalen Fleer. Your feedback is important to us and helps us improve our content. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.